this is the brand new Yamaha R3 and this is the Aprilia RS457. So which parallel twin motorcycle should you buy? You know what? I'm going to tell you in this video right now. Let's go. Ultimately, if we talk about both the motorcycles, it is pretty clear that Aprilia wins in hands down. Performance mein acha hai, torque mein acha hai, power mein acha hai, price mein it's better, tech wise it's better. So why should you even consider the Yamaha R3? Now this is specifically for the purist, people who want a Japanese engine and want a no-nonsense motorcycle. I'll give you three scenarios where uh, you're older, you want a simple motorcycle that makes a lot of sense, but you don't want to splurge too much or you're actually splurging too much, but you don't want to show off a lot. And then again, the Yamaha R3 is a very simple motorcycle, very, very simple, no nonsense nature, kuch usme extra nahi hai. and the power and torque band is so smooth, so smooth that this is the smoothest parallel twin I've ever ridden. So if you want a smooth motorcycle, if you want a parallel twin motorcycle, but with no nonsense character, and if you want the Japanese reliability that is where you consider the Yamaha R3 otherwise it makes no sense otherwise there's one more thing that I have to tell you guys is that the Yamaha R3 is one of the most comfortable bikes out there in a Paladin category Matlab, usse za comfort kis mein bhi nahi hai. if you're a solo rider out there if you want comfort riding smoothness a calm nature of a motorcycle that can open out and can go touring also the Yamaha R3 fits in the budget perfectly well yes the budget is a little too high which is 50,000 rupees more than the Aprilia RS457 but then again you will get more showrooms and service centers for Yamaha these are the reasons for buying the Yamaha R3 otherwise apart from this list there's one more condition that your height is less Yamaha R3 ka seat height is at 780 mm while Aprilia ka seat height is at 800 mm so if you are not too tall and you want an aggressive motorcycle you want a full fed motorcycle in that case so multiple reasons you want a comfortable bike you want a low maintenance bike you want japanese reliability you want something that has a lot more service centers compared to the other brand and then you want a motorcycle that is accessible simple no tech extra traction control it is just a pure motorcycle a raw motorcycle that is what the yamaha r3 is and when i say raw it is still the smoothest bike okay convinced okay r3 clear Naiwa, so Aprilia Q Lenachi. The reason being it is killing the market right now. For the price, for what it offers, 47 horsepower and almost 42, 43 Newton meters of torque, plus a parallel twin engine that has a 270 degree crank and it sounds so nice. One of the major reasons being pe power and torque you get abundant and it is killing the market because of the price. 4 lakh 10,000 X showroom, which is making it down to 5 lakh on road Mumbai. That's the flat down price, 5 lakh, 5 lakh, 5,000 cash pass rega. And it gets three unique colors, which are like mad. The pearlescent color looks brilliant. White looks like bright white. And the racing stripes, matlab, it is an attractive motorcycle. So compared to the R3, yes, the Aprilia RS457 looks nice. It is slightly bigger in size, not too big. Plus the riding structure or the ergonomic triangle is such that it is a little more aggressive than the R3, but not as aggressive as the RC390 so you will find a bit of comfort if you want to go the distance but you will still be pushing the motorcycle and it will be gripping really really well this case the tires you get 110 front 150 rear which are a little more grippy uh, these are from Eurogrip and these are Protox so they are track spec tires made for the road as well so overall balance also it's quite nice plus the chassis it's a dual beam chassis which is a brilliant chassis so if you want a smooth reliable engine you get R3 bhi mil jata hai. This one has a little bit of vibes, I mean, 6-7,000 ke baad vibrations milta hai and it deadlines close to 10,000 RPM which is a little low for a parallel twin but then again the chassis, the amount of feedback that you get from the chassis and from the handlebar is so much so that the moment you push that motorcycle there is so much confidence you can just take that corner, you can push the motorcycle but then there is one problem that the brakes are not as sharp. Braking feedback on the Aprilia RS457 is not as sharp as you expect from it because with the performance and all going on with the motorcycle weighing just 175 kgs, yes, it is fast, it is quick and I could hit 160 very easily but then again, braking was a lethargic, tha. it didn't feel as confident to like hold on to the brakes. If dual disc, tha, to it would have been amazing but then again, still not too bad. Then it comes to the cluster, R3 does not get an instrument cluster like it does get an instrument cluster but does not get an interactive instrument cluster it's fully digital it gives up decent amount of information but no connectivity features or anything as such why connect app bhi nahi milta usme. 
but at the same time you get uh, traction control you get uh, riding modes and it's a full color tft here it gives lot more information of the bike as well and this is something for the aprilia rs457 that it makes a lot more sense so if you're talking with the price and everything else if you want a value for money parallel twin motorcycle it's hands down the aprilia rs457 yes both the motorcycles are not comfortable for the pillion both the motorcycles have non-existent pillion seat Aprilia make chota sa grab rail types mil jata hai but that's about it which is like negligible again if you want a double smooth motorcycle raw sounding motorcycle no nonsense r3 fits in right but it's costly then again you're paying for the quality that's there because it's imported from indonesia as a whole piece that comes as a cbu completely built up while the aprilia is made for india and it is cost effective because it is made in india too and to convince you even more that the Aprilia is better than the Yamaha, Aprilia also gets a 3-year 36,000 km warranty while Yamaha gives you a 2-year 30,000 km warranty. So, more warranty here as well. So, the only problem I find with Aprilia is that its service network, sales network is not as great as it is for the Yamaha in the Tier 1, Tier 2 cities. Tier 1, both are similar. Tier 2, mein Yamaha is a little bit better as compared to that of Aprilia. But then Aprilia is reaching places as well. In the next video, I'll compare the Aprilia RS457 with the Ninja 400 and RC390 and I'll bring in a little more details about it. Then again, here it's 5 lakhs for the Aprilia, uh, 5.5 lakhs for the Yamaha R3 which has a lower capacity and then it's almost 6 lakhs or 6 lakhs 10,000 for the Ninja 400 which is almost a lakh rupee ka price difference. But then again, 5 lakhs, 6 lakhs, tak jai rahe ho to, you might even splurge even more, right? Chahiye waisa video? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, I suppose this doubt is clear. Aprilia lena chahiye ya Yamaha lena chahiye. Plus then again, Yamaha ka deliveries will be a little quicker and they'll be sooner. So, book it, get it. And if you're still a Yamaha fan, if you ride a R15, R3 will be a perfect upgrade for you. But then again, note this. Usme tech kuch nahi aata hai. Thoda bo tech chahiye, traction control agara chahiye. Quick shifter is also one more thing which is an optional accessory which has been added to the Aprilia RS457 as a standard motorcycle nahi milega. So, wo thoda extra paisa uska dena padega but that's about it. I suppose things are clear. Thank you so much. Bye bye.